Hello everyone, Mr. Merkic here, and today I'm going to be doing something like quite different from what I usually do, and that is I'm doing like sort of game tutorials and stuff, right? So what we're going to be doing is creating sort of a survival game. Um, I know a lot of survival games are coming out recently, so that's why I thought, you know what, I'll try and give it a go and make it into a tutorial series to teach other people what they're doing if they need to know what they're doing. Um, what you can see on my screen here is my game, which is not... I've been working on it for about a week, and I'll give you a short preview of it. Basically, um, I've only been working on it for about a week, so it's not the best game, but as you can see, we're going to be doing sort of stuff like this, like fires, and like I've made chests so you can pick up knives and then get the knife. So you get an idea of what we're going to be doing in the game. Um, so yeah, let's get in with it. Let's fire out of this now. And we're going to create a new project. And we'll call this... Uh, YouTube... Uh, YouTube Game. I'll just call it YouTube Game. And the package is what you're going to want to install is you want to grab in character controllers. For now, anyway. Because we'll have to import some of this later on. But... You want to get character controllers and skyboxes, and yeah, that's it for now. Anyway, we'll just get character control and skyboxes and create the project. Let's let this create. Import all the scripts. So what we're actually going to be doing today is creating a basic play-in the basic playing like surface for the player and like, just you know getting the basic thing set up with a controller and stuff so once you come in obviously you've got your blank scene nothing on it so first of all and what I did forget to uh, import is click on assets import new package and get the terrain assets how stupid am I for not importing that just import the terrain assets because this is, instead of just making a cube as our game floor, we'll just do a terrain straight off so we can easily get this done. So, once you've installed that, click on standard assets, terrain assets, and obviously you've got all your stuff here. Now, what you want to do is click game object, create other, and then go down to terrain, select terrain, and you got to find it. So it's actually here. Let me just select that. See our main camera here? Just delete your main camera. We're not because uh, you get a main camera with your first person controller. So for now, this is just like a terrain. This is our playing area, and it it looks like nothing special yet. But I'll show you what it looks like. Just before we edit this, let's just drag in our character so we can actually see what we're doing. So you want to go back to the assets folder, click on standard assets, and then character controller. If you drag the first person controller and drag it into your scene, and if I double click on it, it will zoom you down to the character. Now, you want to make sure that when you, you bring it up, so it's not going through this terrain, because if it's through the terrain, you play it, you'll fall through the ground, and you don't really want that. And just to be sure, just lift it up a little bit more, just so it, it has a little bit of a drop now. Click game, as you can see, this is what we see. So if we click play now, we can already move about, walk, and all that. So we've we got our character basically, basic character. It just looks really ugly because just nothing's on it. So yeah, this is our character. Like I said, it has a main menu on it, and so now we can see what's going on. Uh, just a quick thing to do: we're going to add a skybox to make it a bit more prettier. So you want to click on File or Edit, Render Settings, and then come over here to where it says skybox material just click on this here and then you can either choose what you want I'm just going to go with sunny free because it's quite bright and I like it so if we click play as you can see now we've got a sky in our game like as simple as that it was as easy as that and we've already making the game look a lot better already and so yeah we're not going to stick with that skybox because if, if you want to add like a day and night cycle it, it's obviously going to be changing from the daytime to the night time and stuff but it's for now so as you can see what's happening um, 
So if we click on terrain here and come over to here on and click on paint texture, uh, if you can edit textures down here and add a texture and select one, uh, for now I'm just going to use the default textures that it brings in when you import the terrain assets, but obviously you can use your own textures and stuff and just keep it on 15 for now just click add and what that basically did was create a grass floor for the whole of the terrain so if we play, click play now it's a bit dark so just that right so what we're going to do because it's dark click game object create other and then directional light and uh, just like bring it up in the sky a little bit because you don't want it to be right down there and now if we click play you can see the floor's grass now it's not a brilliant texture that looks really horrible in my opinion but like you can just go on a wet like a texture website or and get a, like nice textures and then obviously it makes your game a lot better textures matter for me if if they're not nice I don't use them if you want a good looking game you got to have good looking textures so yeah but this is for now. It's, as you can see, it's pretty nice. Like we got the sky already, the grass, a character. Like we can actually move about already. So that's just the basics of a game. And so I'm gonna show you before I end the video a few more how to use this terrain. So if we click this first one here, it gives you like a uh, a little object here where we can. If you click, you can create hills. So if I click play now, you can see that oh, we got a hill. We might not be able to get up it because the character is, yeah, we can get up, but we have to edit character features. So yeah, look, we got a hill already. That's that. That's what that feature does. And obviously, you can increase the brush size so you can make larger hills at the one time. I just, I just keep that quite short for now. And obviously, if if you keep clicked on the raise, if you see it raise and lower terrain, if you hold down shift and then click on it, it will lower it back down again. So if you make a mistake, you can just rub it back out basically. And our next one is paint height, and it's just again, it's sort of making a like a hill. If you want that, I think this one looks a lot more smoother than just raising the map, but so you can use that one if you want and we got the smooth height and it just smoothens everything out like it just makes it look much more smooth so we click play and see that now and we fell through the floor because we go to our character this is what I was on about if I double click we're through the floor because I made the hill too far but let's have a look at this hill now seems pretty nice smooth hill uh, the next one along was painting a texture which I've already showed you but if we add another texture now and I'll select the grass and rock texture for example add that in select it and now if you paint this we click play you see we got this grass and rock texture we just come over here we got the grass so you can just see how that works you can paint textures around the map for different floor surfaces and that so the next one along is place trees you click edit tree add trees and I don't think I yeah we have a palm tree by default so we get this and just bang we got loads of trees so that that tool basically does that all for you and these are only palm trees so I don't really like palm trees for well if you're making a survival game you don't really want palm trees unless you're on some sort of island slash beach so they could come in useful to be honest but I'm in a woodland so I don't really want these sort of trees and you can just go wild with this tool you, like I said you can decrease the brush size so it only prints a few but that's up to you I'm gonna control Z that because I don't want all them trees uh, let's get rid of that last lot uh, the next tool along is paint details now this is like grass so if we add a texture uh, one of these items we've either got grass or grass too now just you can add both of them if you want and if we come down to the player and I'm gonna make this a bit short because it's quite a lot and it just paints grass like 
for the player. So I'll play this. Got some grass now on the world. And a good thing about Unity is it actually animates it for you. So if you look at the grass, it's actually moving. Like it looks like the wind the wind is blowing the grass back and forth. So yeah, that's quite a nice feature and you can just again light textures get your own grass like models and just make your own grass. Uh and the last one is just settings and what this does is you can just change all the settings basically. So say if I zoom out we got this massive map. It, say if that's a bit too big for your liking and you want a smaller one, you can just come down terrain width to so I'll change this to one thousand and then one thousand for the purpose of this tutorial on a big map and there we go I click play got a much smaller map and that I've because I made it so small I didn't even put my controller back so we just drag that wow well, so what I'm actually going to do is because I did that set the first person controller to put it to zero. Oh, what's it doing? Set the position to zero, zero, zero. And the unity is being really gay. Zero. Click play. I might be on that hill. Yeah. So you just... Oh, it's put me to the edge of the map. So you just want to drag it back. You zoom out. Get it roughly in the middle again. I like being in the middle. And then bring it back up so we're not going to fall through the floor. And I want to put myself by that hill that we created. Which is roughly there. Click play again. So yeah, here we are with our little hill. And then a, small, a much smaller world. Because if, if you're just learning game creating, you don't really want to have a massive world to be honest. Because you've got a lot of map creation to do. But yeah, that's the basics. We've got we've got this now. We've made a hill. We've got a player that can move about. We've added some grass, nice sky. So yeah, that's that's it for the first video. And in the next video, I'll be showing you how to do some better stuff. So I'll see you next time.